I'm gonna show you how you can edit multiple photos using Topaz Photo AI and show you how easy it is to take the settings from one of your photos and apply them to all the other photos that are open. So I've got these three JPEG images here. These were taken from the same shoot on the same day with the same camera. The ISO settings were really high, so they're all noisy. So I'm gonna take these three images that are on my desktop and I'm just gonna drag them onto Topaz Photo AI. Now you can use apps like Adobe Lightroom Classic and select multiple photos and send them to Topaz Photo AI and go through the same batch processing workflow. So what I'm gonna do is first just zoom in really quickly and adjust the focus box here. And then I wanna point attention to the film strip at the bottom. You'll see that each of the photos that I opened is its own icon in that film strip. Now within each of those icons, there are some things that I want to bring up. On the lower left of each of the thumbnails, you'll see two icons. The first is a green dot that indicates that autopilot settings are being used. And then after that, it'll show you icons representing any of the filters that are active. So you can see that in this uh, image here, there is an icon that if you look over here, shows that the remove noise filter is active. If you hover over an image that has been processed, you'll see not only the image name, but you'll also see whether autopilot is engaged as well as the settings it recommends. Now, if you hover over the other images, it's gonna show you that autopilot's being used, but it won't show you what the settings are until you click on that image. Once the image is processed, then you will see the recommended settings that autopilot provides. And so the first thing that I like to do when I open up multiple images is just click on each of the thumbnails. That way autopilot will process through each of those images and I can hover over and see what those settings are. Now let's take a look at the sub menu over here. I'm gonna go over the apply menu in a minute, but you also have options to show the photo in Finder or Explorer if you're on Windows. You can open additional images. You can close all of the images that you currently have loaded, or you can close the currently highlighted image. So those are some important menu items to factor in. Now I mentioned that the green dot indicates that autopilot is enabled, and then the icon next to it shows that remove noise is enabled. Let's say I wanna apply sharpening, which will kind of uh, override the autopilot recommended settings. So I'm gonna go ahead here and enable sharpen, and you can see in that thumbnail that green dot has been removed, and the icon indicating sharpen has been applied. So we now have both of those icons. And if you hover over the thumbnail, you'll see uh, both of the settings. Now it's important to note the differences in color. The green line for denoise indicates that that is an autopilot setting. And then any other line item that is gray uh, indicates settings that you have enabled uh, by overriding autopilot. And if I wanna go back to autopilot settings, all I need to do is click on this button here that says reset autopilot settings, and you'll see that those settings will revert back. But let's say all three of these photos, they're great in terms of the noise reduction that's being applied, but let's say I also want sharpening applied to all of them. Well, what I can do is um, I can enable sharpening just like I did before. I can also further customize it. Let's say I wanna back off on strength, but add a little bit more clarity. I can do that. And then if I wanna take these exact settings and apply them to the other photos, because again, in this case here, this is a common situation where this, all of these photos are from the same shoot with the same camera and pretty much the same camera settings. So I want the same settings for all three of these images. Rather than going through and, and manually adjusting them, I can go to the sub menu over here. And remember I mentioned apply. Now what I can do is I have options. I can either choose to apply autopilot to this photo, I can apply autopilot to all of the images, or what I really wanna do is apply the current settings of this photo to the other two photos. So I'm gonna highlight it and click it, and then I'm gonna click on apply to the dialog box that shows up over here. And then now you will see that all three of the images that are open, pay attention to the settings here in the pop-up box, they're all exactly the same. And so when I'm ready, if I can go ahead and of course make manual tweaks to each of these photos, but this is a super easy and quick way to apply the settings that I know I want to all of the images in the same shoot. So now that I'm done, I can click on this button here that says save three images. I have all three images in my queue. I then have some options in terms of whether I wanna apply any text to the beginning of a file name, as well as the end of the file name, as indicated by the prefix and suffix fields. I can also 
uh, have this toggle enabled that will apply the filter names to the end of the file name. So it will show me that the, in this case here, all three of these images have had noise reduction and sharpening applied. I can then specify where I want to save the photo. I typically save it to the original folder, which will save it to wherever those source files are located. So in this case here, it'll save them right to the desktop. And then I'm going to click on preserve input format. Now, if you want to save the JPEGs as PNGs or TIFFs or even DNGs, you can do that. If I opened up raw files and I had preserve input format selected, it would automatically save it as a DNG. But I open up JPEGs, I want JPEGs to be exported. And so I'm just gonna keep it like this and then I'm just gonna click on save. And now you can see on the desktop here, I have three files. These are the same output files uh, that correspond to the three images we opened and they have all of the improvements, including the noise reduction and the sharpening applied. And so that's how you'd go about editing multiple photos using Topaz Photo AI in a batch workflow, as well as applying the settings from one photo to all of the other ones. If you want to try Topaz Photo AI for free, head over to topazlabs.com and download a trial today. I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Thanks a lot.